Well, it's been uh, an interesting experience. I think uh, qualifying to the World Cup uh, was obviously the biggest achievement for us. And uh, it started uh, with uh, the team uh, finishing uh, in the semi-finals at the last uh, uh, Africa Cup. And uh, from that point, uh, we had uh, the draws uh, last year in uh, October. I actually attended the draws with the coach and uh, the media team. And arising from the draws, we were put in the same group with uh, Spain, Japan, and um, uh, Costa Rica. As part of uh, the preparation, FIFA gave us some money, $960,000, to help uh, the team prepare. And we planned around uh, securing good uh, friendlies uh, based on uh, the teams that uh, we were going to play with. So we started our preparations uh, last year in November when the team went to Colombia. They played two games. And then uh, we arranged to play against uh, Netherlands. But unfortunately, we ran into some challenges with visas. And quickly, we took the team to the tournament in Turkey where they had uh, two friendlies. And uh, from there, we moved on to South uh, Korea in April. We had uh, two games as part of uh, the preparations. And then we had planned to set up uh, the camp in uh, Spain. But unfortunately, because we were in the same group with Spain, we changed the camp to Germany. And uh, in, in Germany, we arranged to play three games as well. The first against Ireland, the team had to go to Ireland. And then the second one was uh, against Switzerland. And the final one was against uh, Germany. So coming on the back of uh, the three games and the training camp, we had obviously reinforced the technical bench. We brought in the technical advisor. We also brought in the physical trainer, the video analyst, the nutritionist. Obviously, as a way of uh, preparing for the competition. So coming to the competition, yes, we obviously were ready to, to compete. But um, it was obviously on the back of uh, playing in a strong group. Uh, Japan, the first game was uh, quite tough. I think uh, tactically they were far much better than us. And obviously, we lost the game 5 nil. The second game against Spain was uh, much better. I think the team did very, very well. Uh, even though we conceded two quick goals and then the third goal basically killed uh, the team. But also, I must state that uh, prior to getting into the tournament, as expected, these things happen in football. We had to lose our first choice goalkeeper, who was uh, ruled out on account of injury and initially, uh, there was uh, an initial attempt to get uh, quickly back into Zambia so that we arranged surgery for her to go to, to India. But uh, the ministry overruled uh, that position and indicated that uh, they would take over and ensure that uh, the surgery is done here in uh, New Zealand. We also lost uh, the vice captain, uh, Grace, through illness. She was ruled out of uh, the competition. But as you would expect, this is why a team has 23 players and three are on standby. We quickly had to make adjustment and amendments to the team. And uh, hopefully, uh, in the last game against uh, Costa Rica, the team will be able to get a uh, good result. So the outing for us, it's been uh, an, a learning experience, but also um, it is important to state that uh, whatever has happened has not been an accident. It's come on the back of uh, a lot of hard work from everybody. And I must, at this point, uh, thank all the clubs in Zambia who have contributed to getting their players into the national team. Everyone who's been involved in uh, managing the various national teams at under 17, under 20, as well as uh, the senior and also the administration, where we've invested quite a lot in ensuring that uh, football is played in all the provincial centers, as well as introducing the national leagues for women, which is part of uh, the ZPL, the Super League, and the National Division I. And it now remains our hope that going forward, we will see a lot of uh, support from the corporate world 
to invest and as well as uh, partner with FAS to be able to get a broadcast partner as well as uh, a headline sponsor for women's football. So we've reached a point where we are not going to look back. We just have to continue investing in uh, capacity building. We've invested a lot in training women coaches. And I think uh, through CAF, we will have uh, a CAF A course for women. And we expect that uh, those who are exceptional will also be given an opportunity to go for further training and get the CAF Pro license. In fact, Coach Bruce is already here marked to go to Morocco with uh, Coach Nyerenda to attend the CAF Pro course. So for us, the only way we are going to sustain whatever we've achieved is to even work harder because suddenly we've put a marker that um, achieving a World Cup qualification is now a minimum. So we expect that uh, going forward, the team will also do well and qualify to the Olympics for 2024. We also have the Africa Cup coming up and we expect that uh, the team will also qualify to the 2027 Women's uh, World Cup. So our work is already cut out. I think what is key is to make sure that we get as much money into women's football as we've tried with the men's. I'm happy that uh, FIFA this time round has uh, given more money. For preparations, we got 960,000. For the players, for the first time, each player who's going to compete, the 23 players, will be given uh, $30,000. And uh, obviously, there's a progression around uh, those who continue in the second round, quarterfinal, as well as semi and the final. So clearly, FIFA has uh, set uh, the tone on uh, how much uh, the remuneration for footballers, uh, especially the women, should be. So in that regard, I think uh, hats off to FIFA for a job well done. And whatever our girls will get from uh, this uh, funding from FIFA, we expect that they will utilize uh, the money well. And uh, it will also be a, an opportunity for them to even work harder and continue to be part of the team because uh, there's more that is going to come with the next uh, World Cup in uh, 2027. Well, I think uh, we have to look at uh, this issue in context because, uh, again, uh, we've had uh, different versions that uh, maybe we shouldn't have uh, strengthened the team, but as you would expect, it wasn't a mistake when FIFA said uh, the team composition should be 45. They even increased it to 50. But this is what it is. So you have 23 players, three on standby, that's already 26. You add in the technical bench, that uh, number also goes up. And then um, we, for the first time, added a nutritionist to the team. And then um, we also needed uh, more more technical support. We brought in the technical advisor, the physical trainer. We also brought in a video analyst. So going forward, we expect that this should be the minimum that we have as a part of uh, the team. And this should be replicated in all the teams from the under 15, under 17, as well as uh, under 20, because this remains our strategic focus. From an administrative point of view, we need to continuously uh, improve on uh, officiating the referees as well as uh, giving technical capacity to the coaches. We want to see more women coaches taking up uh, these teams and uh, uh, being there to support uh, the growth of uh, women's football. What is key is uh, we will not drop uh, the ball as it were. We obviously just have to build on uh, the experiences we've uh, learned. I think going forward, we are happy that uh, part of our strategy has been to prepare the teams adequately. We've never shied, we've never failed, and uh, we believe that continuing on that path, we should be able to get the desired results. It's very bright. We expect uh, that uh, the corporates will come on board. We also want to invest whatever additional resources we will receive from FIFA, we want to put as much of uh, the resources into women's football because it would be a shame for us to come to the World Cup and then next Africa Cup, we are not there. Next World Cup, we are not there. So the standards have been uh, 
or the bar has been raised too high and we just have to uh, meet that standard and uh, continue to do well. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I mean, uh, sponsorship is always a function of uh, the performance of the teams. As you know, we haven't had uh, good sponsorship in the past because uh, that's how we've ended up even having our own brand, which has done very well. But I must state here that uh, during the camp in uh, Germany, we spoke to a few sponsors. In fact, uh, Puma were gracious enough to actually give uh, football boots to the team for the, because they launched a World Cup uh, all-weather boot. So all the players were given uh, football boots by uh, Puma. So we obviously couldn't understand the rationale around uh, bringing in this argument that uh, the team didn't have boots. Of course, the ministry had a different uh, view, but uh, in terms of preparations, planning, everything we did uh, for equipment, we were spot on.